In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to install and uninstall Google Earth Pro using the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. I encourage everyone to reference the Google Earth Pro install and uninstall PowerShell blog post for the most up-to-date step-by-step instructions and the links to all the necessary downloads, as the information may be updated from time to time. First, we will download the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. I've downloaded the zip file to the C downloads directory. Next, we want to remove the zone identifier from the zip file. So we'll open Windows PowerShell by right clicking on Windows PowerShell, run as administrator, enter the following command to remove the zone identifier. Next, we want to extract the contents of the zip file, enter the following command, As you can see, we've extracted the contents of the zip file to the C downloads PADT directory. Next, we will enter the following commands to copy the app deploy toolkit and files folders to a new location at C downloads Google Earth. I like to keep my scripts as dynamic as possible so they can handle multiple scenarios, such as the ability to install the 32-bit version of Google Earth Pro on 32-bit systems and the 64-bit version of Google Earth Pro on 64-bit systems. Next, we'll download both the 32-bit and 64-bit EXE installers for Google Earth Pro. We'll open our browser to the Google Earth Pro downloads page, select the version of your choice, download the Windows 32-bit installer, and the Windows 64-bit installer. Open your Downloads folder, copy both EXEs to the C Downloads Google Earth Files folder. Next, we want to copy the PowerShell script located on the blog post. Then we can open the PowerShell ISE, which is the integrated scripting environment. Paste in our code. Then we can save the script to the C downloads Google Earth directory and name the file deploy-googleearth.ps1 save it. Okay, all the hard work is done, and now we can install or uninstall Google Earth Pro using one single PowerShell script. If you're using a software deployment tool such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager Configuration Manager, everything inside the C downloads Google Earth folder would be your source files for a package or application. We can delete all the other files in the downloads directory. In this first example, we'll perform a silent install of Google Earth Pro using the PowerShell script. Open Windows PowerShell by right-clicking on Windows PowerShell, run as administrator, change the directory to C downloads Google Earth, enter the following command, Logging functionality is built in automatically so we can monitor the progress of the installation under C Windows Log software. After a few moments, you should see the Google Earth Pro desktop shortcut appear. You will also find entries in the start menu, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. Now we can perform a silent uninstall simply by changing the deployment type parameter from install to uninstall and we can view the log file under C Windows Logs software. 
We can also confirm that Google Earth Pro has been removed from programs and features in the control panel. In this next example, we will use the interactive deploy mode that will show dialogues, including progress and balloon tip notifications. Again, we can see the Google Earth Pro desktop shortcut, the start menu entry, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. We can also view the log file to confirm that the installation completed successfully. Now we can perform an interactive uninstall by changing the deployment type parameter from install to uninstall. We can confirm that Google Earth Pro has been removed. And we can also verify this in the log file. As a friendly reminder, always make sure to test everything in a development environment prior to implementing anything into production. The information in this video is provided as is, without warranty of any kind. For more free PowerShell scripts, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.